Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file and had a little problem with it. He couldn't get this green line to close, and there's the problem right there. He's got part of this, part of the cloud, still part of that. So when you click on that black dot and hit delete, you delete the whole cloud. So that's your clue that it's connected. So go to Arrange, Break Curve Apart. Now let's zoom in here and select just that black little dash and hit delete. Now his lines aren't connected and that's what he's trying to connect. And this is very easy because of the fact that they are one continuous line on both sides. You click on that and it did both of them. So take your shape tool and select them both. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join curves, and I've got mine set on a half of an inch, and hit apply. Now it's got some nodes in the middle that kind of make it crooked, so you can select it and hit delete. As a matter of fact, I would probably delete a few more to give it a more rounded effect uh, to the cloud itself. Uh, nodes aren't that bad in lasering and engraving, and the least nodes you can have, the smoother it's going to be. Now I've just noticed that you've got a pretty irregular shape on these clouds and that might be the effect uh, this is a pretty cool deal this is what he's wanting to do so that's going to be filled in with i don't know if he's uh, he's evidently a laser engraver so he wants that filled in so that green line is a cut line but to make sure that those clouds are black what i would do is take the rectangle tool and build yourself a rectangle around that so if it does leak it won't bother you and then just fill in that and you've got a leak somewhere by by doing that there's another leak somewhere and it could be a number of things um, something touching so let's do this let's grab our green line and let's uh let's, let's see how big this is first it's only seven inches so let's change our nudge distance to eight let's grab our green line and just move it out of the way then you could take your rectangle and move it out of the way. And now we can do a smart fill tool on the green to see if it's the green leaking. And it's not the green leaking, it's the black that's leaking. So somewhere in here you have a leak. And there's a number of ways to find that. Uh, you could just go by and look. Uh, one of the best ways to find the leak like that would be to take your rectangle. And what I'm doing with that rectangle is if it goes out of the box, it won't fill in all these other parts. And then what I would suggest to do is take a two-point line and just, or it doesn't have to be a two-point line, draw some lines and use your Smart Fill tool to fill it in. So you know your leak's not up there. You know your leak's not there. You know your leak's not there. And really, so now there's no leaks. That doesn't really make any sense because it was leaking somewhere. Let's just delete these lines. And let's do the Smart Fill tool over the whole thing. And you're not getting any leaks. So let's take this and go left click, no fill. And I'm going to put it in a red hairline. And I'm going to move it, nudge it back. And it could be just because they're touching somewhere. So I would look at it. And also you've got a little bit of a hiccup here. And that's easily fixed by taking your shape tool and clicking on that. Of course, we'll have to select it and go to Arrange and, well, I don't know what that is because it will not let you select. Well, there it is right there. There's some nodes. Let's just delete them. And sure enough, it got rid of them. So now just go around your edge and see if any of those are touching. And this is where, let's zoom in here. This is a tool I don't use very much. It's called the Pan Tool. It's underneath your zoom, and you can actually zoom it around, you know, move it around. And I think I see the problem right there. Let's go back to the zoom tool, and let's look at that right there. Nope, they're not touching. I don't see that they're touching. So let's try it one more time. There it is right there. That's touching. So let's just move that. Let's select both three of those nodes and just move them up a little bit. 
And <clears throat> I've messed with the curvature so you can delete some nodes and get it back to, and play around with that to whatever you want. And now let's try the Smart Fill tool. And select right there. And that solved the problem. Those two lines were touching. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.